the Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University, and customarily a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Duke Blue Devil. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Blue Devils will boot it away to start the game. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Duke's offense will have the first possession of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that the fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page. Though. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. Did a really good job on the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. The Blue Devils will snap it on first and ten. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I'll tell you, this is a hard defense to run against if you're going to go sideline to sideline because of that guy's speed at linebacker. He can get all the way to the perimeter, chase the quarterback down on the option, and make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Impressive. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They try to pop a run on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and in a hurry. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Unloads to the wideout. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And the Blue Devils will punt this one away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the hunt team. So North Carolina's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. It'll be first and ten from the 30. He's going to pass. Find this big tight end. The last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. 
it seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking forward to this one. Hand off to the single back. Turns it on to midfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Might as well give it to him again. Fights off the defender. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This defense is going to have to do a better job slowing down the run. We've seen twice now in this opening drive, this guy break one. And so this defense has to do a better job at the point of attack, and their D coordinator probably is already thinking to himself, why have to get another guy in the box to slow this guy down? He'll try to pop the draw. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, have <laughs> fun with that. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Johnson wants to throw it. Got his man quickly. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after they play up top. And I like it. Third down and short, and this offense stays aggressive, and now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in the first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. And the Tar Heels will try to punch it in on first and goal. Trying to power it in. And he's brought down at the line of scrimmage, and the ball will stay at the two. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. On second and goal, they go right back to it. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're sprawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. Lining up to add another. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going.
The Blue Devils come to the line in the hurry up. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. To the air, it's Murphy. Quick strike complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. And this sophomore has an arm. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll run it from the gun. Shakes off the tackle. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. It'll be a draw. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. And the Blue Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hand. Man, those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. And this will be the ninth play of the drive. Back to throw. It's Murphy. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. You've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. The Blue Devils trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Duke! That was an absolute sledgehammer of a drive. Just taking the air out of the ball. And it's hard when you run that many plays. 
is not to make a mistake and throw an interception and get penalties and put you in a bad spot. The offense just struck play after play after play together and got hit. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Trying to make their way to the promised land on third and goal. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Blue Devils! Timely decisions, effective play management, helps them get in the end zone after that marathon drive. And every time the offense needs to play, boom, they got it. I mean, you think about it. When it was a small run, small pass, whatever they needed, they got it done, and they popped it in for the score. On to attempt the try. Hit that one with some aggression for the point out. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you play a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Give to the running back. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And a great job by the defense, dropping in so many coverage. All eyes on the quarterback, taking all the options, and then finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. The Tar Heels will try to pin them back with the punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. He'll do it himself. Tackled after picking up the first down. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. Now on first down from the 43. Wide out in motion. Caught in the backfield. It's Moore. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Handoff from the shotgun. And he's knocked down, but...
but not before moving the chain. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Blue Devils had this offense rolling. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. And we don't see this very much in college football anymore. Quarterbacks just taking care of their bodies and making smart decisions. Get down on the ground so you don't take one of these big hits from these nasty defensive players and just give yourself a chance to make it through the rest of this game. Scanning the field, it's Murphy. Throws to the wideout. Incomplete advance. He's lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. He found his man and zipped it in there, and they've got a first down in the red zone at the 11. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. They'll try to hit the sideline on the jet sweep. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. The AT unit on the field. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They march 58 yards with a touchdown on that one. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. Looking for block. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Johnson looking to throw. Fires to the wide out. Soft spot in the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Trying to find his man on first down. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. You know, if you're going to complete some of these deep crossing patterns, the offensive line has got to be able to hold up because you know that receiver 
it's going to take him time to get where he needs to be. So everybody up front really has to do a nice job of creating a clean pocket for the QB to throw from. Really good execution. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Second down. Now on second down. Off play action. Throws to the wide out. Got him downfield. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Well, they execute the in route. Now, how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. And the Tar Heels line it up with a first and goal. Barges ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down into this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits the upright. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. All tied up. Just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And the returner is stopped. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. To the air, it's Murphy. Makes the grab down the middle. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. When you see seven covers, man can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. The Blue Devils are in the hurry up. Wants to throw on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. Well, I like this quarterback being aggressive and taking a shot. It's a better play there by the defense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They keep attacking through the air. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. And the Blue Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
and he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense got to stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? A strike downfield. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Wide receiver shows motion. The receiver on the jet sweep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, the offense stars those plays where they want to get their playmakers the ball, and the defense understands it as well. I got to know, when that guy comes in motion, he's a legit threat. They did, and you could tell. They pulled the trigger and went and made a nice play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Johnson wants to throw it. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The D scoops it up, and everybody reverses field. Nothing but green grass down the middle. Touchdown, Blue Devils. The defense takes matters into their own hands. What a play by the defense there. Loose football, country fumble, pick it up with room, scoop, and score. No doubt, country versus city. It's a country fumble, nobody around. I got to pick that puppy up, do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. Here he comes out of the end zone. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Looking for room, it's Hampton. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's got it on the right. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Tight end finds a soft spot. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. And that's why quarterbacks take their offensive lines out for all-you-can-eat wings. Clean pocket, able to step up, scan the entire field, and pick the open receiver. The Tar Heels want to crank the tempo. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Blackwell. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. 
Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And that play is essentially like a jet sweep, right? This offense is going to run the football conventionally. They'll do it between the tackles. They'll do it outside. But there's a lot of different creative ways they can get their playmakers the football in the running game. And I think that was an example of what you saw right there. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. You love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting damn close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting. Johnson looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. He makes a grab. Takes it all the way down to the four after making the grab and they're set up. Well, the offense able to pick up some extra yards after that curl throw there. Because the QB got it to his guy early, he was able to turn around, make a guy miss, and go pick up some yak. And the Tar Heels have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He worked his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king in two, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a... And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, UNC! What a day. His third rushing touchdown. We've got your college fantasy football team going. This guy is racking those points up for you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Getting set for the point after. And it's perfect. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it right down the middle. Got his man. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance, and I mean you got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle, and they did right there. The Blue Devils want to pick up the tempo. Motion from the offense. Gonna run it, it's Moore. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. Makes the grab, it's Harvey. 
He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. So. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. Fast motion from the offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Moore. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. It's a draw. And they try the middle of this stout defense and they rise to the challenge. A nice job by the defense. A draw is kind of a trick, you know, get you to run upfield, but they sniffed it out, did a great job. Stopped the play for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess. Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off. Great job getting in the backfield, making the play. They're within field goal range at the 29. Let's see if they can pick up a few or the first down on third and long. Got it set up on the outside. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run up field, and they slip in the running back screen in behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. And the Blue Devils getting set on first and ten. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Finds his big tight end. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Dialing up a second down pass play. Got it behind the line. It's Moore. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Wants to throw on third. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And the O will stay out there and go for it on fourth and inches. Try to get it on the ground. Tackled, but he has a first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. The Blue Devils will try to put one on the board on first and goal. From the gun. Looking for the score. Caught near the sticks. It's Moore. Touchdown, Duke. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. Set to kick this 
And he'll just take me in this drive. We'll start at the 25. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels. So pleased to send the offense back out. Fires to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, we knew coming into this one, the tight end was a big part of this offense. We've seen it early in this game. They've moved him around. They've thrown it to him in a lot of different ways. Defense is going to have to make some adjustments trying to stop this guy. Line getting set on second down. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires complete on the crosser. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll put in play from the 41 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got his man to the left. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. The offense will quickly use the timeout. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you've got an arm like this and you can just boom, put it on the line, it's really nice to have. On second down, looking again to throw. Just had to get rid of that with good job to avoid the loss. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. Good right down the boulevard. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach, although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They had a really productive first half, but in a game like this, they better keep it up. You know, at halftime, the offense and defense separate, and they kind of go over their own adjustments. You know the offense was saying to themselves very quietly, guys, we're not going to stop anybody. we got to keep scoring if we're going to win this game. So the pressure's on them here in the second half, David. Yeah, and you get the ball first. And so it's been a high-scoring first half. You get to go out here now and make a statement. Start this half, say, listen, we're going to keep scoring points, and then maybe help some, alleviate some of that pressure on your defense. Going to run it. It's Hampton. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a manageable situation. Back to the ground with the running back. 
Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for Woods. Now facing a third and long. Johnson looking to throw. Pressure coming. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Really nice job by the defense. Here in the second half, we've got to have the mentality with the lead. If we just don't give up any more points, we get the double. we got to make big plays on third down. They made a big one there. The Tar Heels will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tested. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Makes the quick grab. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. That's just a tremendous individual effort by the defender. He's able to defeat his block and get to the ball and get the ball down on the ground. Very, very nice job. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They'll run play action. Trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Yeah, this offense might want to think about moving the launch point for this QB, because if you take hits like that from the pocket, it's really tough to complete passes. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. It's complete! That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. He wants to throw. He'll off one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the take, but couldn't reel it in. Love the physicality of the secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. The incompletion brings up a second down. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal game there. Still a bit short of the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him tackle. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. And the Blue Devils have their offense in high gear. To the ground, he's got it again. Still running at the 40. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. What offense. You've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the right. Makes a connection. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working, so this defense going to have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. And this one will be stopped for no gain. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down the 
some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Wants to throw. It's Murphy. He finds his man. Touchdown, Blue Devils! And they take it in for six more points. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good. They're up 35 to 24. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. He's got his man. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback going straight. Running back searching for a hole. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll go right back to it. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to drive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. And the Tar Heels have it with a first and ten. and fires complete. He's brought down solid. Pick up on a little bit short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Wide out in motion. on the RPO. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. All the way down to the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Fuse the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab along the sidelines, but then be a little short of the first down. There's just so much chemistry between this quarterback and his receiver. And you saw it right there, down the perimeter, trying to work the boundary. Just put it somewhere near him. He'll catch it. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. The Tar Heels have taken it inside the 20. Johnson wants to throw it. He's got it down the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. 
They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Well, the defense got to the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches then. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical, work on this all week. You know you're going for it. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. And it's right down the boulevard. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took him right to the end zone, David. So Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. Put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Got three on first down at second and seven. To throw, it's Murphy. He's got the back in the middle. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. If you're on the running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Moore. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The Blue Devils are moving quickly down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Makes the catch, it's Harvey. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Hey, quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. And here comes the offense on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Jet sweep trying to turn the corner. On the move at the 30. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. And you got to love it. Put the ball to your playmakers any way you can. Use their speed to your advantage. Nice job handing him the football, getting his speed to the outside to have a successful play. And the Blue Devils with the first and ten. Back to pass, it's Murphy. He looks that one in nicely. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. 
great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened here. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wide receiver shows motion. Hand off from the gun. Relentless puck running gets it down to the four. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. Into the end zone! Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. He'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Splits the uprights. Good. And that will extend their lead even further. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Caught in the backfield. It's Blackwell. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Every journey begins with a step. This offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Feeling some heat. Going to try to get it himself. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. So frustrating as a defense because you got the offense in third down. You're in a situation now where you can get off the field if somebody just makes a play, but you let the quarterback escape and then beyond all that, you can't even get a good hit on him because he slides to protect himself. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. The give to the tailback. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Grab behind the line. It's Blackwell. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. talk about his favorite receiver it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game not only is the scoreboard on their side but so too is time as we open the fourth now they'll run the draw and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Tar Heels will run it away on fourth down. They'll look to pin him deep. Fair 
catch called for and made. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. If I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and then get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on the board here. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to pass. It's Murphy. They're trying to get to it. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack, throw the ball away. Now listen, we can debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away, QB. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Grabbed in the middle, it's Moore. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, this offense knew coming into this game, they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. The Blue Devils decide to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. This defense really has their hands full, guys. they got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. Looking to pass on second down. Snagged in the middle. It's Hampton. Drills him with the stiff arm. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage. But you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. The Tar Heels racing to the line in the hurry up. They go to the draw. No, he just flat ran over it. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. You've got to really make the defense think it's passed. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Sweet feet on the move. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open to hit. And you'll race it to the house. Touchdown, North Carolina. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. Now they'll try to get the two and make it a three-point game late. Johnson looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. That keeps the score. 38, North Carolina. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Sets a kick this one on the move from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. 
After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense plenty last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer. They really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Takes a handoff. It's Moore. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Makes the grab. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Blue Devils will hustle to the line. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Leaves it with the running back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. They'll turn to the jet sweep to try to convert. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense was prepared, and I'm really impressed by the eye discipline right now. That's not easy to do. It's not easy to locate that receiver coming across in motion with good timing and getting the jet sweep, but they were ready for that play. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It's good. That's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in the big one. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. Bringing it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Going with the ground game left. At the 35, he's open. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. How about the left side of the line getting off the ball, creating some holes for that running back to get through, make a big play on the handoff to the left. When something works that well, you might as well go right back to it. I mean, they showed no indication that they could stop. It. I like to go back to it and hurry up, get to the line of scrimmage quick, run it again. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll try the run. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. Big third down here. They need to get the ball. 
more to the 41. Johnson wants to throw it. And the pressure gets to him down, goes the quarterback. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man, but I got a pass rush like that. Turn coming, he'll call for the fair catch. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. The Blue Devils in the hurry up. Off play action on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football and it'll be second down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls in. On second down, he'll let it fly. It's caught. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting a first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. And the Blue Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. Pulls it in. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. You know what's interesting? At this point in the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back to back. Now on first down from the 30. Going to the ground. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. Coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. At the 26. Offense facing fourth down. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Never a doubt. And now the lead is extended to the front. You know, it's funny, in the age where there's so many college football analytics, everybody wants to go for it. And at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Got a man, it's Jones. Good start to this drive, and they'll need much, much more if they're going to give them a finish. They, they need a ton more of this, but you've got to start the drives great. The first play needs to be really good. That was a good start. Now we've got to keep building on it, and we got to do it in a hurry. The completion short of the sticks. It's second down. Quarterback on the keeper. The Tar Heels will move the sticks. How nice is it to have a guy that can say, I'm just going to go get the first down. Like, I know I have options. I can do X, Y, and Z, but I'm just going to let me run it, go get the first down, and give myself an extra set of downs. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. He's going to pass. Makes the catch. It's Hampton. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Johnson looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. The bad news on that play is an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew this guy wasn't going to catch it. Nobody was with that ball. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Going to take a shot. Grabs it at the 25 in stride. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Tar Heel. And what nice play design. You get your speedster, you put him in the slot, you usually get a better matchup. And then what do you do? You fade him towards that sideline, run a go. Nice ball thrown way out wide. He just runs underneath it and just too much speed. Couldn't catch him. Gets in the end zone for six. Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. Motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game, chasing points. And then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Fast motion from the offense. They want that clock to run. Getting that push, they pick up a four out to the 26. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Look, let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Wide out in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Moore. He makes the stop almost as soon as he catches it. They're short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The crowd is going to tell you the result of this one. They are into it on this huge third and three. Finds his tight end. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Blue 
Devils have it with a first and ten. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Might as well keep pounding that rock at this point in the game, even though it's second and 12. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Getting some heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. I just love the effort by the defense on this play. We're late in the game. It's in the fourth quarter. Guys are tired. They're not able to get to the QB right away, but they continue pursuing him, and they're able to get to him outside of the pocket. Nice job. And the Blue Devils will send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position, too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because this guy's practiced the situation before. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots, throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the right. Another incompletion on third down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot. And that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. On fourth down, flexing that muscle in the run game. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Great job by the defense. You've got the lead in this two-minute situation late. If they're going to run the football, you've got to tackle them inbounds, not let them get the first down. They did both those things, and the clock keeps ticking. After picking up the first down, they still have to move quickly here. And he's just going to spike it. It's incomplete. It's now second down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Johnson wants to throw it. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Yeah, and at this point in the game, guys, fourth quarter, you're trailing. You know that they're going to be throwing the ball and trying to be aggressive and try to climb back into this one. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. Let's see what happens on third. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. They've got to push the ball down the field. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Well, they're down a possession, and they're on their own side of the 50, so they need a big one right here. They've just thrown three straight incompletions, but it just takes one. It just takes one big play down the field to all of a sudden get that momentum and that juice flowing again to give yourselves a chance to win. A five-point game here getting very late in the offense. We'll stay on the field on fourth down. Fires in the traffic, picked off. Bringing it back. And he is brought to the ground, and that's how we'll wrap this one up. 